uh, Alex Lowe's. Well, he's got a smile on his face as uh, A. Lowe's is happy enough with that one and that lap, considering when we're comparing it to out and out superbike laps here, this is a super stock specification bike effectively. The laps of 2 minutes 4.4, I think it was from John Hopkins, that was done on a fully blown superbike. This is the new BSB Evo rules, and I'll tell you what, Al, that was some lap you put in there. Even our kid was happy with that one. Yeah, but he don't realise he's lost 300 quid because I had a bet that I could do that lap time. <laughs> so, unfortunately, he owes me 300 quid now. And I'm going to make sure he gives me it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, he should have been 500 quid, though. Well, here at Silverstone, the top five in the showdown have qualified in the top five places for the first of the middle showdown races at Silverstone. But what drama, as normal, here at Silverstone again. Alex Lowe's it is that set quickest time out there. And also in there is Tommy Hill, Josh Brooks and Michael Laverty. Josh Brooks is on uh, the second row of the grid, but uh, it's going to be an absolute cracking race tomorrow. Tommy Bridewell, the other one of the title fighters, is on row three of the grid, and he will start a little bit further down the grid than what he wants. The big question is the tail longevity for Michael Laverty is something that he is concerned about. Tommy Hill, he only just to say squeezed into Q2 by the skin of his teeth uh, once again and uh, Tommy on the back of that Assen problem that he had with that grid crash and then only fourth in the second race then uh, Tommy's got it all to do but this is a showdown anything can happen and it usually does but Silverstone's got to play a pivotal point in the championship but those top five riders in the showdown in the first five positions on the grid.